हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल एंड वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल सो लेट एस हैव फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल्स देर इज नो फॉर्मल डेफिनेशन फॉर कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल्स बट वी जनरली से दैट अ वेरिएबल दैट कैन टेक ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इज कॉल्ड एज कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल we generally denote a complex variable by z for example z is equal to 2 plus 3i z is equal to 4i these are examples of complex variables now let us recall about complex numbers any number of the type x plus iy is called as complex number where i is root of minus 1 we generally denote it by letter z here x is real part of z we denote it by r e z and y is imaginary part of z it is denoted by i m z following are different forms of the complex number namely cartesian form it is z is equal to x plus i y polar form it is r into cos theta plus i sin theta and euler's form it is given by r e raised to i theta where in second and third form r denotes the magnitude of the complex number given by root of x square plus y square and theta is amplitude of the complex number or argument and it is given by tan inverse y by x note that the choice of cartesian or polar form of the complex number it is just the matter of convenience if you are doing addition or subtraction of two complex number it is easier in cartesian form whereas if you are dealing with multiplication or division or finding powers and the roots of the complex number then it is easy to handle in polar form now we see what is a function of complex variable it is any valid mapping taken on a complex variable it is called as function of a complex variable we generally denote function of a complex variable by w is equal to f of z where z is any complex variable in general we may write w is equal to f of z as u plus iv where u and v are both functions of x and y let me explain you this using an example consider a complex function w is equal to z square since z is a complex number so we can replace this z by x plus iy so w becomes x plus iy the whole square simplifying this we have w is equal to x square plus i square y square plus 2i xy i square is minus 1 so we have real terms x square minus y square and imaginary term 2 xy in this way so here you can clearly see that w is written in the form of u plus iv where u is x square minus y square and v is 2xy that is u and v are functions of x and y now let us check the continuity and differentiability of function of a complex variable the continuity and differentiability of the function of a complex variable are defined on the similar lines of continuity and differentiability of any regular function you can check on those statements as below we say that a function of a complex variable is continuous at point z is equal to z not if limit of f of z as z tends to z not is equal to f of z not and we say that the function of a complex variable is differentiable at point z is equal to z not if the limit of f of z plus dz minus f of z not over z minus z not as dz tends to 0 exist i hope you understood what is complex variable and what is the function of a complex variable thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos